So in another example, which is the Arnold Mechanics, uh, please read it from the slide. So we have the Arnold Mechanics. Uh, he has uh, he want to install a new engine. So he has uh, we have here the first mechanic is Tony. It's a new engine at an average uh, three per hour. So this is the service rate. Or about one every 20 minutes. Customer needs to serve arrive at the shop about an average two per hour. Two per hour. The garage. Okay, calculate the numerical. Tony is paid five dollar per hour. Okay. Um, we have the customer dissatisfaction. Customer dissatisfaction loss of goodwill is ten dollar per hour. Customer dissatisfaction, customer dissatisfaction cost is ten dollar per hour. <clears throat> On average, a car has a two over three a sixteen car service per day. Okay, um, we're reading the third part. There is a someone called Jimmy Smith who can install an engine to rate four per hour. So we have. Smith, he can install four per hour, so this one is faster, but he charged us nine dollar per hour. So the question is, would we <coughs> keep on Tony, who is slow but less expensive, or we replace him with Smith, who is fast but more expensive? So this is the question here: Would we keep the slow, cheap? Or we swap him with a fast, more expensive one. Okay, so we really need to study the total cost here and compare it to the total cost here to see which one is more convenient for us. Okay, so if we go back, if we go back to the total cost equation, so total cost equal service cost plus dissatisfaction cost okay the service cost for both of them so I'm gonna do one here is Tony and here is Smith so the service cost for both of them uh, for Tony is uh, five dollar per hour Okay, as a wage, and here he own nine dollar per hour. So here we have eight hours per day, and five dollar per hour. And for Smith is nine dollar per hour times eight hours per day plus plus. Okay, so the customer dissatisfaction cost we need to calculate. WQ in both cases for Tony and WQ for Smith. WQ for Tony as an equation is lambda over mu mu minus lambda and for Smith the same equation. So here it is equal to we have three people per hour his service and people are arriving at two per hour. So we have two over 3 minus 2, so 2 over 3 hours per person. Okay, while here is equal, he served 4 per hour, and people are arriving at the same rate 2 per hour. So we have 2 over 4, 4 minus 2, so we have 2 over 4 times 2, 1 over 4, 0 0.25 hours per person. So we come back to here, I'm going to explain this like really carefully. For Tony, every person wait on average 2 over 3 hours, 2 over 3 hours per person. Every person with this amount. Okay? And we have <clears throat> 2 people are coming per hour. Over 8 hours we have 16 people. 2 people per hour times 8 hours per day. So we have 16. If everyone waits for two over three hours, 
and we have 16 people so in total they waited 16 times 2 over 3 and each waiting hour it costs us ten dollars per hour and the same here so we have 16 people per day and everyone is waiting 0 0.25 hour per person and ten dollar per hour so we calculate which one is more feasible here we have forty dollars plus we get the calculator so we have 16 sorry 2 over 3 times 16 times 10 106.6 so here in total 106.6 146.7 and 9 times 8 72 plus 16 times 0 0.25 times 10 16 times 0 0.25 it is 4 just want to double check times 10 it is 40 plus 72 is equal to 112 so in this example, <coughs> definitely the Smith, the faster, more expensive one, is more feasible for us. Okay, in this example, the faster, uh, I will repeat the example, the faster, more expensive one is more feasible for us. Okay, um, we we'll repeat here, like we calculate the service cost plus dissatisfaction cost. So we have two people per hour, eight hours per day, and we calculate WQ from here for Tony and Smith, and times the dissatisfaction cost for both of them. Okay, and we have the same here, we calculate the dissatisfaction cost for both of them. Okay, 